There is a limit. Uh, that's what people are saying here on the Canary Islands. Uh, there's a growing protest movement on um, over mass tourism on the islands. And on the 20th of April, uh, there's a protest planned for Tenerife. And today, Gran Canaria said they're also going to join the protest on the 20th of April. What are they protesting about? It's basically mass tourism. 2023 was a record year for tourism in the Canary Islands. 2024 has started even more busy. And Easter week, this Easter week, there's a record number of tourists expected on all the islands this week. So they're just basically saying, look, enough is enough. Um, they're worried about the environment and also practical things like rent. Rent has gone crazy for people here want to rent um, and to buy a property. What happened is that because there's so many tourists coming in here, anyone that's owned apartments for renting has took them out of long term uh, renting and put it into short term for tourists because there's more money to be made. It's as simple as that. Now I do point out to my Canadian friends, it's mostly Canadians own those apartments. Um, so, it's, I suppose it's good to see this discussion, and I can really understand it, you know. Um, I suppose what's frustrating the, the, better, or the protesters, that there are still plans to build more uh, hotels um, on most of the island, you know. Um, and that's big business, you know, and it's very hard, I suppose, to fight against big business because you're fighting uh, against powerful interests. Uh, here that just are looking for profit, you know, so it's a finely um, balanced thing, you know, when does too much tourism become too much, uh, what's enough and what's uh, what's acceptable, you know, so we'll see where it goes from here, it's probably something that you should be aware of if you're coming to the Canary Islands anyway.